Yo guys, what's going on and welcome back to a brand new video of WWE Supercard. This is episode 12 of season 5. Oh my god, I forgot for a second what season this was. Um, right, Over the Limit is out. Um, maintenance has lasted a couple of hours. It was long, it was long, it was long. But Over the Limit is out. I haven't clicked on anything yet. I don't know what anything is about. I've, Of course I watched the videos, but let's have a look at the points. Can already see a couple cards here. I can see Bobby Lashley and Braun Strowman. What? Why is one of them 4K and one of them 30? What? Screw this, Cena. I want to learn for my for myself. So it starts in 12 hours. First card there's McIntyre. So you got a Bobby Lashley there, and then you got a Braun. Why is there two? I'm not complaining. And then you got the heroic upgrade. 63 million points. I love how they're just guessing. Like it's just it's just pure guesswork, isn't it, at this point? There's no way they know what we're all gonna contribute to. So of course they will tweak it um depending on how this first one goes. So here you can actually see um earn four thousand hype for a shattered. Oh Oh I got I got you. I that makes sense. It's like oh that makes sense. I was like, why? Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, cool. So, you get your Elias. Then you do the Neon. That's This is the heroic side. I gotcha. It w I didn't understand that because it didn't show Elias, did it? Oh, no, it did show Elias in the middle. I was just paying attention. Right, so... Let's just imagine for a sec it's RD, right? It's th yes, you are going for the Gothic. But, like, Neon Shattered, you get your Elias. Once you get Elias... Oh, cool, heroic mode. Uh, neon Shattered... And then you get your heroic um, Elias. So pretty cool. Um, so you get a hundred. I uh, can't see how much that costs. Can we look at? We can look at global. So sixty-three million, six million for a guaranteed gothic. Sixteen for a gothic to neon, uh, gothic to shattered. And then what's this one? Gothic to shattered as well. What's what's the difference? Do do you wanna do you wanna explain that one to me? So one superstar, one superstar. Right, makes complete sense. Maybe it's just because I'm shattered and for people who aren't, like, the top tier, it, there's a difference between those two. That's the only explanation I can give for it. Um, so there's no deck for this mode. So how are they basing it? Are they basing it off your top eight? Is that what they're doing? Um, I have no idea. I can't be asked to read all of this because it's pretty much what's covered in the video. You play games, you get your amplifier, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, then match these things off the board. When you're done, your hype will be contributed to solo and global. During the event, you'll earn solo hype rewards each time you contribute enough to reach a new threshold. Beyond that, eligible players will also be able to complete for heroic solo rewards at the end of the event. All qualifying participants will receive a global hype reward based on the total contributions made by the community. All contribution must be made before the time runs out. Do your hype. Do you hype what it's... Oh, God. God, no. Please, no. <laughs> right, well, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm kind of excited for a new event because we've been all asking for one for a long time and then we got LMS and LMS was just a massive pay to win kind of not scam obviously it's not a scam but you know what I mean it was just you know pay a lot of lot of money to get good uh, rankings and it was just a bit of a piss take um, and there's always problems with the event cards the people with the stats weren't happy about it and it was just it was a bit of a mess I don't think many people enjoyed it that much it will be back. I'm talking about it like it's not coming back. We will get, sadly, LMS back, I'm assuming. But for now, we've got this over the limit. There's no gameplay really to it, apart from playing other modes. Um, but you do get cards from it, and it will help people. There's a lot of good cards, and it's probably going to be the easiest event, I think. But just, just because of how, yeah, you just have to play Royal Rumble. Um, God forbid when it's a war. Uh, a war week. That's gonna be. That's not gonna be fun. In other news, we've also got these snowflakes rewards. Um, a Wonderland ingredient. So an ultimate snowman is what we'll get for that. So we've got 19 days to start collecting these snowmen, and then of course you'll be able to use those for uh, for something else. But uh, yeah, to get those those Christmas cards that I refused to buy in the store because five and a half thousand credits. No, thank you. 
don't know why I'm opening a free pack, um, just because I'm talking and I wanted something to do. Um, but yeah, let's not. Let's <laughs> let's get into um, let's get into collecting all this stuff I've got to do. We've got a platinum pack to do. We got my um, uh, PVP stuff to claim. We'll go ahead and get a, a pack from the store in hopes to get something. I don't know why these packs are even a thing. It's just make them better. No one, no one needs titans. Um, no one, no one needs these. You know what I mean? And of course, people in lower tiers need these cards. But when you're in lower tiers, you're not even getting those cards. You're getting worse cards. So these packs are just kind of irrelevant in in a, in, in many ways, in every way possible, to be honest. Apart from just training away, but. I've got enough training food. I don't need a couple of titans. So anyway, there you go. We've got some 34s. We've got some titans into the um, C, uh, into the platinum pack though. Again, another easy background as you can see. Half the team really didn't even bother to attack me included. I think I had some attacks remaining, but just easy wins. So no need to uh, no need to play when we had ring domination, team ring domination. There's enough things to play over the last couple of days. Platinum pack, still no shatters from any of these. Couple females here and there. Got a female in the last one. Um, yeah, uh, just yeah. Give me, give me all neons released to shattered. No gothics, please. What do we get? We get two neons and a gothic. So still no shatters. Elias, I want to say is a new image. Get my battle points right there. This is gonna take me up to twenty k. No, I won't be cashing in them battle points because that would be a waste. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Just getting over. This cold I've had recently. The next Neon's going to be a female, maybe? No, it's Curse Axel and, uh, and Drew McIntyre. That is, that is garbage. That is a garbage pack right there. Right. Cool. Um, that's pretty much it, except... Let's go to Royal Rumble. Let's go to Rewards. CP. Uh, that Ricochet is nice, isn't it? I do like this card back, but card back's kind of useless, so you might as well go for this. Um, obviously, you never get anything good, but there you go. Do I get any catalog? No. Owens. Owens potentially is catalog, I think. Uh, but I'm always wrong about catalog. Uh, Goliath. I was right, actually. Cool. So, yeah, one more Goliath done. Yay. Thank you for watching the video, guys. Uh, do make sure you smash a like, comment, subscribe, turn on the little notification bell, and I'll see you guys tomorrow um, after college for some over-the-limit gameplay. See you in a sec. Yo, guys. Welcome back to the episode. I was about to say last man standing. OTL is live. I've gotten back from college and we're ready to go. I've just got my first 100 hype. Well, that's not true, actually. I got like 20 or something. Um, I was playing it really briefly whilst I was at college. Um, I went into a quick amplifier just to see what it was all like. Um, I'm not sure where it will tell me how oh, There you go. 28 points right there at the bottom. Um, it's gonna be a long grind guys. It's gonna be a lot of wild mode a lot of Royal Rumble, but I want to go through um, OTL sorry my camera's a bit a Bit low there. Uh, we're gonna go through yeah OTL how it plays what it's all about amplify this height Multiplies all this good stuff the best way to use the height multipliers We're gonna go through all of this right now in this video So drop this video like if you enjoy subscribe if you're new around here Make sure you unsubscribe to Neology and turn on that notification bell. If you've done all of that, you're a legend. Uh, let's get straight into this video. So 100 out of 100 hype. I thought you could have more than 100 if you like bought something, but this hype multiplies. As you can see, I bought a times five, which make which that's why it got me full so quickly. So if we click onto the amplifier right now. It'll take us about now. I don't actually know what this reveal thing is. Would you like to watch an ad to reveal the lowest value tiles? Now, why would I want that? Would you like to watch an ad to reveal the lowest value tiles? Yeah, why would I click on the ad when I could... That doesn't make any sense unless I'm I'm reading it wrong. I probably should know everything before I come to you guys and be like, hey, I'm going to explain to you about um, OTL. But let's... Um, okay, so we get a plus 10. A plus 50, can we get the double? No, plus 5, plus 25, plus 5. Don't get me another plus 5. So we've got two plus 10s, two plus 5s. If we get another one, okay. 
plus 15, give me the double, plus 50, don't give me another plus 5, plus 25, so if we get a plus 10, a plus 25, or a plus 50, it's game over, obviously we're looking for a plus 50, or a times 2, we get the 25s better than plus 5, so that's not too bad, we're going to contribute those points, um, we are now up to a whopping 153. Remember, we have to get to 18,000, guys. <laughs> oh my god, it's going to take ages. And that's all. That's literally all you do. Um, now, for people wondering about this height multipliers, what is the best technique and what is the best way to use it? Now, if you're going to spend credits on this event, what I would advise you guys to do is use all your bouts in Royal Rumble and every time you get onto the draft board, close the app. Um, save up as many picks on the board as you possibly can until either it doesn't let you anymore, which I don't even know if there's a cap on, uh, on it anymore, or until you're so bored of like <laughs> force quitting out the app, you're just like, screw it. Um, let me uh, let me go ahead and uh, and get my multiplier. So after saving as many picks as possible, um, obviously if you want to get the multiplier, you get whichever multiplier you want. Go into your draft board and then collect everything. Get to your hundred uh, hype. Go amplify. Boom. Go back to the draft board. Get get again to hundred hype. I don't know how many times you could repeat the cycle. Obviously you have it for half an hour. The multiplier. So you could probably do it a couple times if you've saved enough draft picks. And that will be the most um, useful and like it will be like the least costly way to do it. Now that's not what I did, um, but that is what I will be doing. Um, it's just a bit long. It's a bit tedious, but. Um, if you're going to buy multipliers, it's kind of silly to buy a times five for 30 minutes, um, play a couple games of Royal Rumble. Um, it's just you're, you're wasting a lot of precious time, if you see what I mean. You're wasting a lot of precious time. Now, this OTL, um, as cool as it is to have a new kind of element to the game, something new to play, it really... It misses something, in my opinion. I, I, I know what it is. I think all of you guys know what I'm about to say. And that is gameplay. There's, apart from the Amplify thing, which, let's be honest, it's not really that much to do, apart from match a couple of things on a board, which takes 20 seconds, um, you're not really doing much. There's not really much gameplay element to it. Now, some people are like this. Some people be like, finally, after Road to Glory and Ring Dom and Last Man Standing, it's nice to have... An event that's not going to take up my whole weekend or, you know, every day from Thursday to Sunday. Now, fair enough. Um, I just wish they would have integrated some sort of gameplay. Um, but I'm not mad. Um, I'm just a little bit disappointed. <laughs> um, it sounds <laughs> sound like a very... Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. Uh, nah, but yeah, in all fairness, I wish there would be a little bit of gameplay. Um, something to do. Um, the bouts, it's not like you're ever going to run out of bouts, is it, on the, for the Amplify thing? At least I don't think so. Again, I haven't played it enough to, to know the ins and the outs, um, which is fair enough. Um, so, of course, do let me know, guys, if you know more than I do, because it's very possible. But the way I see it is just, yeah, it's not... There's almost no points to having bouts, because... You're not really going to run out that much of it. Unless, as I say, you do save up a crazy amount of picks. And you're literally just, you know, boom, 100 hype, amplify, go back to the draft board, 100 hype. Amp you might, you might run out of, of, um, of bouts then, but it's not really important. Um, so, yeah, it's an interesting one. We've got 12 picks here. I don't know if i still got my times 5 on. We're about, we're about to find out. If I actually get any hype, we get a snowflake. Um, get some charges, absolutely no hype whatsoever, nope, okay, there we go, do we have, nope, don't even have the times five on anymore, brilliant, um, I'm not doing what I'm saying here by closing out the game, because I just don't want to, I can't be asked as I'm recording, um, but that will be what I do from now on, there you see my hype card, um, yeah, I got one out of a hundred. Let's go amplify that. Make it like three. <laughs> nah, of course that would not be the smart thing to do. Even though I don't think there's any harm in it. Um, again, whoa! You get about every hour. 
damn. <laughs> okay, I take back what I said about there's no <laughs> point in having bouts. I thought it was going to be like a 15 minute thing like it is with the other game modes, with the other events, but it's not. So, yikes. Um, 4,000 points for a Shatter card is brilliant. That's not a lot. I think everyone could get 4,000 points. I think everyone could get 9,000 points. I think everyone could get 10,000 points. Now, 18,000 points is a bit steep, but then again, I don't know how. I don't know how it plays out. I've only done a little bit, and I'm already at 150, so maybe it's not that bad. We'll just have to wait and see. Um, Global-wise, we're at 6 million um, get that at 16 million, that has 63 million, so three days, let's say it's four o'clock, the event's been out for eight hours, eight hours, 15 million points, 16 hours, let's say 30 million points, um, so by the end of that, you're, yeah, easy, easy should, easy should be getting that 63 million, um, so that's pretty cool. So yeah guys, that's pretty much all I've got for you on this OTL. Um, as you can pretty much see yourselves, there isn't that much I can talk about. There's not that, it's, it, it doesn't go that in depth. It's literally, if you're going to use the hype multiplier, be smart with it. Um, it's only 30 minutes, so save up as many picks as you can, then use it. Um, that would be my main my main tip for you guys, if there's one thing you take out of this video, it's, well, actually, it's subscribe to PewDiePie, then it's um, <laughs> save your picks, and then it's unsubscribe to Neology, so in that order. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Please do drop this video a like. If you want to see some OTL gameplay, Kappa, there isn't any gameplay. <laughs> Um, then yeah, please, um, please do drop a like on this video, turn on the little notification bell, subscribe if you're new around here, and, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's a wrap, guys, I'm just gonna be playing a lot of Royal Rumble to get a lot of hype, thanks for watching, peace out.